Hello my friends, I'm Clover, this is the Gas Channel, and it is August 19th, 19th day of our August variant guessing game. Welcome back, and today we are solving Dutch Whispers by Philip Newman. So we have standard Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each 3x3 three three outlined region. And then we also have Dutch Whispers. The Dutch Whispers rule says that digits that are next to each other connected by an orange line, for instance, this pair of digits, or this pair of digits, or this pair of digits, etc., have to have a difference of four or more. So we could put two and seven there because the difference there is five. We could put two and six there if we wanted to, assuming there wasn't a six in that box, which there is. Um, or alternatively, we could put, uh, you know, three and nine, etc., etc. but we couldn't put like two and three because those are too close together. Their difference is only one. Now, the thing with Dutch Whispers to bear in mind is that five is the most valuable digit in a Dutch Whisper Sudoku. Um, five only has two numbers that it is at least four away from. Those are one and nine, which each have a difference of exactly four away from five. And so whenever you see a five surrounded by two other digits that see each other, you know that those two other digits have to be one and nine. That is particularly interesting in Dutch Whispers because that's the only situation in this type of puzzle where your, your high lowity of digits, so whether they're high or low, can actually change um, from low to medium to high, as opposed to just going low, high, low, high, low, high, as they will always do along the rest of the line. So for example, four here, there are two digits that have a difference of four or more with four. Those are eight and nine. So in this case, we're going to go high, low, high. There's an 8 right there, so that makes this a 9, and that unwinds some of this. 6 is similar to 4, it has to be between a 1 and a 2. And now if we look at the 7, there are 3 digits that are 4 away from 7, those are 1, 2, and 3, but we've already used up the 1, so those will be 2 and 3. The 3 can't go next to 6, so we've got a 2 and a 3. 6 can only be next to 1 or 2, and there's a 1 in the column, so that will be a 2. Now, if we look here, 5 sees these two cells, so the 5 in the region can only go there. These have to be a 4-8 pair, and because we have to have something that's 4 away from 9 to go in that cell, it has to go in this order, 4-8. Here we need to place a 1 and a 2 on either side of the 6. They'll go in this order. We need to place a 4 in the region. 4 sees these cells, so 4 will go right there. And then we still need a 3 and 7. 7 is very close to 8, so we can't put 7 there. That will be a 3, and that will be a 7. And now we have this very nice diagonal pattern forming of digits we've already filled in in the top left of the puzzle. Let's keep it going. So 4 has to be next to an 8 here. 7 can only be next to 1, 2, and 3, so this is 1 or 2. This will be a 1, a 2, a 3, or a 4 to go next to the 8, but we already actually have a 1, a 4, and a 2 that see this cell, so that's going to be a 3. And now 3 can't see an 8, can't see a set, or sorry, can't see an 8, can't see a 9 because those are in the row already, so that will be a 7. And then this needs to be either a 1 or a 2, the 2 in the column makes it a 1. The only remaining position for 6 in the region is right here. And then we still need to place 4, 5, and 9. The only one of, well, this can't be a 9 because of the 9 there, and then the only one of the remaining two digits that could go next to this 1 is the 5. So 5 goes next to 9, 9 goes next to 4. We finish this row, we still need a 2 and a 6, which will go in that order by the Dutch Whispers rule. Finish this row just with a 5 by Sudoku. Here we need a 3, a 7, and an 8. That can't be a 7. These two digits have to be far enough apart from each other, so they can't be a 7 and an 8. One of them will have to be a 3, so that will be our 3. And then that's all taken care of. Okay, let's move down here to this region that we're starting to fill in. 3 needs to be next to 7, 8, or 9. We already have a 7 there, so this is going to be an 8 or a 9. 2 needs to be next to a high digit, 6, 7, 8, or 9. We've already used 6 and 9, so this will be either a 7 or an 8. 1 needs to be next to a high digit or a medium digit, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, so we're left with 6 or 7 here. So what I'm noticing now is that we really need to place 3 and 4 in this region, we really haven't made any progress towards doing that yet. So where can we put 3? Can't go in those cells, so that will have to be a 3. 
And where can we put four? Well, Okay, right now we're alternating high, low, high, low, high, low. We know that's not going to change in this box because, as I mentioned earlier, the only position where that changes is when you have a five. Five in the box is already used. So here we're definitely going high, low, high. So four, our one remaining low digit, is going to go right there. It's between an eight and a nine. That's a seven. That's a six. The eight here resolves the eight, nine pair. All right, these will now be two, three, and seven. Seven can only go in that position. Two can only go in that position. To finish this row, we need 4, 5, and 8. This can't be a 4 or a 5 because of the 3, so that's my 8. Wait, it's not 4, 5, and 8. It's, um, oh, this is actually a blind solve, a little bit unusually for me, so forgive me. It's also very early in the morning right now. That can't be a 4, um, that can't be a 9 or an 8, so that's a 4. And the 8 here makes that a 9. These will be 1, 5, and 6. This can't be a 6, this can't be a 5, this also can't be a 6. So that resolves in that way using the Dutch Whispers rule. Now let's start working vertically a little bit. Here we're going to need a 3 and a 9. Here we're going to need a 5 and an 8, which resolves, and then the fact that we just placed a 5 there takes care of the other digits. Here we need a 1, a 4, and a 7. That's not a 7. This can't be a 1 or a 4. This must be a 1, so that's all resolved. To finish this column, we're going to need a 3, a 6, and a 9. This can only be a 3 to go next to the 7. This can only be a 9 with the 4, so that's all taken care of. Here we need 2, 5, and 8 by Sudoku. That finishes up because there are already some digits in our rows. Here we're going to need 1, 4, and 7. That will also simply resolve by Sudoku. Easy finish. Um, here we need 3, 6, and 9 by Sudoku. We are done. And here we need 2 and 5. And here we need a 1 and a 4. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Dutch Whispers. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you would like to solve it yourself, the link to do so is in the description of this video underneath my face. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.